but this is not right. Look, they got to be more careful down there. I mean, this guy I now mean, he spent four. He spent thirty eight hours in jail. I wouldn't want to spend thirty eight seconds in jail, let alone thirty eight hours. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out a new video. Arrested for no reason, and the judge is mad. Okay, that's going to be my first time watching this. I know a lot of us who watch this video out together. I think the young man right here was arrested for no cause, no reason at all. So let's check it out. Did you get printed the other day at Woodhaven? Yes, I did, Your Honor, because you told me to. Right. Yep. And I didn't know I had a tether violation, and they arrested me. It's in this red COVID period. Did you get printed the other day at Woodhaven? Yes, I did, Your Honor, because you told me to. Right. Yep. And I didn't know I had a tether violation, and they arrested me. And also, I need to pay uh, a ticket Slow today. Down. Slow down. Sorry. Sorry. Slow down. Let, let your lawyer speak. I see a warrant. Um, he, I see he was picked up on a warrant while being fingerprinted out of the Third Circuit in Wayne County. Do you have a, uh, is there a deputy right there? Yeah. Deputy, can you come back up here, please, and state and spell your name for me? My name is Officer Marquise Rigel, M-A-R-Q-U-I-E-S, last name Rigel, R-I-D-G-E-L-L. -L. Thank you. Mr. Elliott was picked up on a tether violation, it says, on the 4th. For the life of me, I cannot figure out what the tether violation is. I read this record, this report here, and it says that he was over there lurking at the police department. Um, He's being fingered. I noticed the above subject tracing the location of the Woodhaven Police Department. I contacted Woodhaven Police, did verify subject was there. I, 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 a detainer was emailed. I was notified the subject was at Woodhaven Police to be fingerprinted. A Third Circuit warrant was found and the subject was put into EMU writ status. So this has nothing to do with him him being in custody right now has nothing to do with a tether violation. Is that true or false? I have to look, sir. Hold on. I don't see any reference in there about a tether violation. Well, it says it in here. There was, I mean, implicitly they say it, but I don't see where there was one. I didn't order him not to go back to the Woodhaven Police Department. I think he was picked up on another warrant. There, there is a reason to believe, uh, and I, I'm going to state it, uh, not my client. And uh, Mr. Elliott, I don't want you to say anything because you haven't pled guilty to anything and you're presumed innocent. I have reason to believe that maybe um, there was a battery not charged when he was at home. Um, that may be an issue. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes. According to the system, it says he's here for malicious destruction and two counts of domestic violence. Now, about that report or being um, a violation of his tether, I would have to even read the report myself, sir. I didn't write the report. Can I speak? D you're just, Elliot, I want to make sure you don't say anything that incriminates you because you haven't pled guilty to anything. I know. I've been I've been told four different things that it is. Like, I don't know what I'm... That's fine. About. What is it? What is it that you're being told? I'm being told okay, from, the, from the sheriffs that picked me up from the Woodhaven Police Department, it was a tether, a tether violation. Then when I first asked the Woodhaven Police Department, when I first got there, they told me it was a stalking charge. I've never stalked anybody. Then... Now it's a, a malicious destruction of property, which I'm paying off. That's from that's from another case at Woodhaven that I'm paying off. And I need to pay that ticket off today as well, which is another problem for me, but that's beyond the point. So basically, I'm very confused. I, my, yeah, yeah. My tether <laughs> because the guy is entirely confused. Like, why are they paying him for different charges that he literally did not do anything for? Like, I just, they just want to just arrest them. <laughs> because this is... This is on law this is this is bad human treatment why are the police acting this way this is terrible if i would say 
Because the guy right here is confused. Even the judge himself is confused. The lawyer is confused. Everyone is confused. The police officer right there had to go check his record to know why, what, the boy, what the boy's offense was. And like everyone right there is actually confused. So what is his crime? And me, myself, I'm actually confused too. I know it's a tether violation, but may, I don't know. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm not trying to confuse all you. All right, slow you. down. Just relax. We're, we're all trying to figure it out together. Take, okay. take a deep breath and relax. I, I did represent him on the one with the uh, malicious uh, destruction of property. It was a, a vehicle. Lisa, there is a note here, malicious destruction of property. It says, uh, okay. uh, malicious destruction signs, bills, or notices. He's it says probation. he has a... To Judge Hessen? Correct. Yes, I do. I, I handled that file. Was well, he on? Um, is he in custody on that one? I can't not figure out why this gentleman is in custody. I need. I have a job. Mr. Elliott, I'm going to straighten it out for you, sir. Thank okay? you. I'm, re I'm really thankful. He's working two jobs. He's stressed because he's going to lose his job. I just lost my old job because I got locked up. All right, settle down. I'm going to help you, okay? Assuming you need the help or assuming you're deserving of the help. It doesn't look like he's on a tether for Judge Hessen's case, so there should not be a violation for that. I don't understand this. I, I, I just don't understand this. So it's they're saying it at approximately 6 p.m. 1900 hours well or 7 p.m. I guess that would be while monitoring the OmniLink software I noticed the above subject tracing the location of the Woodhaven Police Department I contacted Woodhaven and did verify the subject was there this is a sergeant from the sheriff's tether unit the detainer was emailed that I was notified the subject was at Woodhaven to be fingerprinted a third circuit warrant was found and the subject was put in the EMU writ status so i don't know what the third circuit warrants on but that has to be the reason but there but i'm just curious as to why they're putting him in front of me on a tether violation when it appears there was none the subject was in compliance with his curfew at the time of the arrest unless the tether violation is for for violating a law and that could have happened while he was on uh, bond and i ordered him not to violate a law so i don't I'm, I'm unclear. Do we have any other indication that this gentleman was picked up on any other case after he was in front of Judge Hessen actually for arraignment on February 21 of 23 and up through the present? And I see nothing. Nothing. The Wayne County site only shows the two cases. Excuse me, Ron. Yes. Again, this is Officer Rigel again. I just got off the um, phone with the coordinator. And Officer Griffiths was stating that in the report, it should have said something about him violating due to police contact. Well, that could hang on, Mr. Elliott. But nobody's telling us what the police contact is. I don't know what the third circuit warrant is. I'm looking at his lien. Now, granted, this one is dated March the 28th, so maybe you need to update that, Lisa. But I don't see anything on here on his criminal history indicating any other charge emanated after the February 21 of 23 incident. So why don't you start by running his lien again, an updated version. I know that's only eight, nine days, but- Can I say something maybe that. I'm sorry. Can I say something real quick? Sure. I'm wondering if they think he was there getting printed on new charges. No, well, that's what I'm, that's what that's Mr. Ellie. Would you please stop? I ordered him that day deputy to go and get printed at Woodhaven police department. He hadn't done it previously. I ordered him to go over there and get printed. That's why I was at the Woodhaven Police Department, because on this domestic violence case that I have, that has an offense date of January 27 of 23, for which he was arraigned on February 21 of 23, 
I noticed when he was in court on April the 4th that he had not been printed. So I ordered him to go over there and get printed and I set this for a bench trial. Then they're talking about on the tether violation that he was at Woodhaven PD. I, I think I think there's been some I think, I think there's, there's been a misunderstanding, Your Honor. So do I. Your Honor, I'm gonna ask Wait, that. do yes, we have about. any any indication that he has any other case pending in Wayne County Circuit Court, Mr. The Deputy Marquez? No, sir, not that I see. Nothing but the current stuff. Lisa, do you have do you have any indication on anything, including the lien that you either have run or are running or about to run, that there's any other hold? No, the lien is printing down there in the courtroom right now. And I looked on the Wayne County site. It only shows these two cases. It's held on. So the problem is somebody had make, made an assumption. And my father used to tell me what would happen if you made an assumption. And, and, and it's not a good one. This guy's been sitting in. He's been sitting in jail for two days. Unless there's a hold, I want him released immediately. Thank okay. you, Judge. Okay. No tether? Well, if no, Mr. he's still going to have his tether. I still want the tether on him. If, if, if Wait. We, yes, Judge. I want, I want the tether on him still with the same tether conditions. Um, and, and we will send those back if we need to. Uh, no contact with Isabella Cavallon or prosecution witnesses, no alcohol, no drugs, no firearms, no dangerous weapons. He's not to be within two miles of that individual, that individual's residence or place of employment. And he was not to be released until fitted with a GPS tether. So what I would like is, are you, do you still have the tether right now, Mr. Elliott? No, they cut it off, Your Honor. So they need to get that back on him with those same conditions. And would you tell them the judge would really appreciate it if they would expedite it since he's just spent 48 hours in jail or if thereabouts 38 hours in jail that he shouldn't have spent 38 seconds on? Yes, so, no, no, so, so Lisa, let's send that back. The uh, minimus will just do an amendment and say the the defendant has posted bond because he has February 28th of 23. I'll just make a note and then you can put in the conditions to make sure they get all the conditions in here. Defendant uh, taken into custody on April the 4th. It appears that was in error. Defendant to be a re released immediately, but I need you to have that with those. But this is not right. Look, they got to be more careful down there. I mean, this guy I now mean, he spent four. He spent thirty eight hours in jail. I wouldn't want to spend thirty eight seconds in jail, let alone thirty eight hours. Now he's got himself in the trouble, but he still enjoys the presumption of innocence here. And yeah. now somebody's going to tell me they can't get the tether tether back on for a day or two or six, and that isn't right either. So go to do whatever you got to do. Tell them the judge said he wants this guy fitted with the tether first and foremost right now, as soon as possible, so he can get out of there because he should not have been in custody for the last thirty eight hours, as far as I can tell. Thank you, Judge. I'm going to get my massage in the car right now. And if they need to talk to me, they can call the court and I'll talk to them. But yes, you got to be careful. Thank you very much, Deputy. Have a good day. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Mr. Baldwin. Thank you, Your Honor. Thanks a lot, Mr. Elliott. Stay out of trouble, though. I will, man. I'll talk I to you. I don't want you to say a word. Shh. Stay out of trouble. Don't say a word. Good luck. The judge is not happy. It's really not happy. This is really, really sad because um, I feel sad for the boy because he has actually spent 38 hours in jail for for trying nothing. Because he committed a crime does not mean he's just like that. They just presumed him bad. You get that's by it. So we all know you committed a crime. Should be told 
Yeah. At first. But the second, the reason why they arrested him, he didn't commit any crime. Now he spent 38 hours in jail. 38 hours. Damn. That, that is, that's serious. Like, really, really serious. I know some people can spend two hours in jail. This guy spent 38 hours in jail. For a crime he didn't commit. It's, it's, it's really bad. Uh, according to what the judge said, they said he shouldn't even spend 38 seconds in jail. It was not needed. And this was presumed arrest. It was presumed that he was at fault. And this is bad. This is something that she look into because this can this could be someone else. This could be more serious than this. Like if it was someone else that was arrested for 38 hours. This is unjust. Just take it that way, but it's it's really sad. It's really sad that when you did something bad, everyone just points you like you are you are a, a criminal, you're a bad person, you are you are this, you can never be good again. You get it. So it's really, really bad. Because they just arrest him arrested him out of assumption. It's it's terrible. And the young man right there, he just wanna just wanna get out. Because he have actually lost his first job because he was arrested. Now he don't want to lose his second job. The judge sees something in him that he can actually be a changed man, he can be a better man. And that's true. Me, I, I saw that in him. Like this man, this guy right here, he learned his lesson and he don't want to repeat that same action twice. So this was interesting to watch and at the same time really, really sad that the guy had to spend 38 hours in jail for a crime he commit. Um, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can. Share your thoughts about this video. What do you think about this video? I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all